Are you guys seeing this? <laughs> I'm sorry. This is so crazy. <laughs>I am so thrilled to be filming another Ace Attorney video for you guys. My voice is a little bit gone, so don't mind that. I just got off some roller coasters a couple days ago, but we're dialed in. It's a good freaking day. There was a Nintendo Direct today. A ton of Mario games are coming out. I'm I'm having a great time, okay? I'm I'm ready. I hope you guys are ready. If you didn't see the last video, we're in episode two, Turnabout Sisters. Last video, we did the entire investigation, so definitely check that out first if you missed it before we go into the actual trial. And as a quick recap, poor Mia Faye, my former boss, was in fact murdered, RIP. Maya, her sister, is on the hook for it, and she's my next client. I will be getting her off though, because there's a lot of questionable stuff going on. I'm really excited to dive deep into this and I hope you guys are too. So that's it, I'm gonna keep it short and sweet. Let's get into some trial, shall we? Also, the candle of the day, new segment is Citrus Sunrise. I got this at Big Lots. And if there's one thing you guys should know about me, I love setting a vibe. So we got a candle going. Oh, and we got wax about to pour out on me, which is super fun. Soda of the day, you guys already know. Oh my God. Anybody else get nervous opening cans? <laughs> Cheers. Okay, let's dive back into this. Speaking of the Nintendo Direct, anybody else confused on why we did not get an update on Professor Layton New World of Steam? Where is the Professor Layton? Anyways, okay. September 7th, 10 a.m. Wow, this judge starts kind of late. That's nice. Let everybody sleep in a little bit. go okay so edgeworth is apparently an esteemed prosecutor that i should be terrified of which i'm not yeah we are absolutely none absolutely none confidence confidence phoenix exude confidence at least we have an opening statement this time okay that's proper Of course you do. Just like the last witness that saw my client do it. That was a terrible opening statement. <laughs> Trash. Okay. Do I not get to give an opening? What about my opening? You know what? The judge is probably so confident in me that he did not even think I needed one. We're just going to skip right over it. That's fine. Wow, what a witness to start off on. Did he always have a bandaid on his face? Why are you so angry? Why are you so angry? I'm the one that should be angry. that supposed to mean you know gumshoe i did already dislike you but did not peg you for a sexist okay starting off strong can i object to that that was a little ridiculous anyways okay we're, we're gonna move on <laughs> okay solid That's a leading question, but all right. Yeah, I'd like to know because as far as I'm aware, there is no hard evidence. I'm 
I'm not gonna lie, it is a little sketchy that the only two people at the murder scene were the lawyer and the defendant. I, that's not a great look for us. Okay. Phoenix, confidence. Oh, well, okay, that's actually fair because that wasn't much of a direct, but fine. Let's let's get into it. <laughs> okay, so nobody saw. Okay, that's fine. Maya, what did you throw at me? love that let's do it let's do it amazing amazing No, I don't. How would I have known that? Oh, the witness, the witness. Okay, okay, okay. Babe, we're gonna keep pressing. Don't you worry. Prob he's probably pretty sure he <laughs> Wow. I mean, accurate, but kind of rude. Okay. Okay, you told me to press every time. Nah, I'm pressing. Because that actually I should press. Yeah, what is your reason? You did. You did say that. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, sounding a little biased there, Gumshoe. God, here we go. <laughs> Hard evidence, okay. Okay, to be fair, the paper written in blood that said my client's name would be hard evidence of something. But not necessarily that she's the one that killed her. When did you have time to do lab results, though? I don't recall you doing that before the arrest. Judge, that's the question we're all wondering. I mean, to be fair, it was his attorney's, it was the prosecutor's job to pull that information out of him. I mean, the witness isn't expected to just, just remember everything off the top of their head, unless they've rehearsed it, which would be very sus. Let's get it.
Hold it. When's the last time you got your eyes checked? Correct. That's your job to find out, Gumshoe. Not mine. Ooh. Okay, I don't think Miss May wrote it. As much as I would love to blame her, she was across the street in a hotel very shortly after. I mean, could she have written it? Sure. Obviously, I'm not going to say I did, Jesus Christ. So, the killer. I mean, what better way to frame somebody for, for your murder than to write their name in the victim's blood? I mean, it doesn't get better than that. Oh my god. What? Okay, so a question, because I know you guys have been amazing about leaving video comments on my videos explaining things to me. In the United States, the burden of proof is on the prosecution. The defense does not have to prove anything. They truly do not have to prove anything. So for the prosecutor to ask me where my proof is that my client was framed is a little improper because I don't have to prove anything. Let me know if it's different in Japan if you guys know, but weird wow sassy not your place hold it that is thank you that is what I've been saying this entire time When did you do lab test? When did you do that? Not him having a stroke. Herma Globin Bobbin. Your Honor, after Herman Globin Bobbin, I feel like the def we should just kick the witness off the stand at that point. I don't really know how you can recover from that. Okay, that's fair, but is the prosecution going to call an expert on blood tests? Just wondering. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> we don't know that anyone take this guy seriously I mean that statement alone this guy is crazy thank you this is real life gumshoe have some respect <laughs> trash <laughs> okay yeah, you might want to object to that because your client's sucking right there. Wow. Okay. I mean, he's not wrong, but like, now you choose to bring up relevance?
Okay. Okay, so let's see what evidence we have. You know, as much as I love seeing my attorney's badge, I do not know what that will ever prove. <laughs> Single bone force trauma, 9 p.m., death was instantaneous. Wait! If the death was instantaneous, how could she have written the name of her killer with her own blood? Now, I don't know if this is the proper statement to present this evidence on, but that I think is going to matter. Wiretap. Okay, let's let's keep going a little bit and get to that part. Okay. Okay. Okay, are you going to make a conclusion or should I present now? There we go. That's what I wanted. Okay. She couldn't have. This better be correct. Wow. It's like I'm a real lawyer or something. Like, <laughs> let's go. Let's go. I'm not going to lie. I feel good about that one. <laughs> Did you guys know that? Did you guys see that coming? Um, okay, well, I definitely don't want to say I forgot. When did I get that autopsy report? I think... Oh, God. I don't remember. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I, I think it was the day of. I feel like it was the day of. Oh, God. Okay. Well, that's not great. I mean, who cares when I got it? Yeah, like, what is your point? I'm sorry? <laughs> okay. So, again, in real life, that would have had to have been turned over to me well before right now because I haven't had a chance to review it and form arguments against it. How are you just going to pull an autopsy report out of your butt, dude? Like, okay, let's... Death was almost immediate? Nah, you fabricated that. Who did you pay to write that? No. Are you... You know what? Gumshoe, was it Gumshoe that told me? No, who was it? It may have been Gumshoe that told me Edgeworth wins by just playing a bunch of tricks that are all lies. Excuse me. So I feel like this autopsy report was definitely fabricated. Either way, this is not good for us. Not him bowing. Ex ew. Ew. Get over yourself, dude. <sighs> hmm. I mean, Edgeworth is a sham. The detective is also a sham. Why would I say I'm a sham? Jesus. 
Honestly, I want to say the detective's a sham because he is connected to the investigation and the fabricated autopsy, I feel like. Edgeworth has plausible deniability. He might say, I didn't know the autopsy report was fabricated. The detective gave it to me. So I'm going to say the detective's a sham. Oh, okay. Well, or you gave me a faulty report. Either way. Nah, this is so creepily condescending. Did I say the wrong thing? Should I have said Edgeworth to Sham? Maybe I thought about I overthought that a little bit. Okay. Does anybody find it strange that the cop keeps calling Edgeworth Sir as if Edgeworth is his boss? Maybe he is his boss? In the in the states, like the prosecutor and cops work very closely together, but is Edgeworth his boss? Because again, bias? Like, is nobody picking up on this? Oh my god. Okay, maybe I messed up. Maybe I should have called out Edgeworth. Gosh darn it. That's crazy. If this guy does not stop bowing... Oh my god. Oh, there's more witnesses. Okay. Okay. Yeah, let's move on because Gumshoe was not doing it for anybody. <laughs> Valid. Her hands. Ma'am, this is a court of law. What is wrong with you? Why is she standing? Okay. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about with like, it's a law game, but there's so many elements of just like true anime. It's really funny. Like, <laughs> wanton winking, it, it, it should be refrained from. Phoenix, get it together. Phoenix. Phoenix. I need you to focus, babe. Look away from the boobs. Maybe April did do it. I did not need big boy. about remarkably solid but are you kidding me let me cross her what is wrong with you I don't care no I didn't what does that have to do with anything and why are you bringing this up now shut up What an inappropriate time to come for Mia's lawyering. Like, guy, she's dead. Leave her be. Yes. Are you joking? Exactly. She has to. 
All right, let's get it. I'm pressing her. I am pressing her. Why did you look out the window? Are you guys seeing this? <laughs> I'm sorry. This is so crazy. <laughs> oh my god. Like, she's making me uncomfortable. Just because of the environment. Like, girl. No, I'm going. No, we're, we're going for it. I'm not badgering her. I'm not needling her. This is not trivial. Trivial. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why is the crowd getting so rowdy and why are they not on my side? Oh, I know why they're not on my side. Because of, you, you know. Yeah, all that. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> A woman with long hair does not describe anybody. Are you sure? What does that mean? No, not okay. Edgeworth, you weren't there! Were you? Were you? No. I mean, those are both the same thing. If she saw nothing, then she is lying, so. I mean, I guess. Not the best point, but why is she looking like that? This is the creepiest woman I've ever seen in a video game. I guess I can't say in my life. That's fair, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I'm with it. Uh, I mean, her hair looks pretty normal to me, but okay. Not the worst point. Roar? Roar? Is she trying to roar at me? Okay. I'm sorry. I can't. Like, <laughs> this is so insane. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, okay, let's continue.
Okay, let's really quickly see. So her statement is she saw everything. Uh, Mia tried to get away. Maya pulled her back, hit her on the in the head. Okay, let's see if there's anything we have to contradict that. Don't think the con phone conversation's helpful. I am confused on the broken glass nightstand, but I don't know if that helps. I could present her with the my with the wiretap. Let's present her with her wiretap. I mean, I don't know if that's gonna do anything, but. Does it? Yikes. Sorry, Your Honor. Apologies for wasting your time. <laughs> yeah, no. Let's 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 continue. Let's just press her then. It is pretty spiky. <laughs> Ran off to the right. Okay, so we do have that map that I would love to show at some point. Let's press. Well, that's an odd way to ask, are you right or left-handed? That was so incredibly creepy. Okay. was a clock no because how did she know it was a clock that object is a statue that happens to also be a clock but you wouldn't know that unless you were paying attention to the previous trial yeah yeah nah I mean, I don't know what presenting her with it's going to do, but let's try. Ew. Ew. Put your boobs away. There sure isn't. There sure isn't. not weird response but okay <laughs> period you've caught murderer okay yeah I mean plural was a little bit of a stretch you are you what like what was that <laughs> okay you heard the clock from across the street in an entirely different building with the window shut
BS. I do think it could have rung, so I, I would have argued she couldn't have heard it. Yeah. My guy, calm down. Like... Good idea. Wasn't asking you, babe. Wasn't asking you. Judge, can you please? That's crazy. That's actually crazy. That's actually crazy. Wow. Okay. I guess it's broken. Wait, if she hit her in the head with it, maybe it broke. Doesn't look very broken to me. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> Period. Yeah, I'm the one putting on the show. Yeah, I mean, I didn't even know it was removed, so I don't know where that came from, but... Okay, hold on. Yeah. Cell phone, glass shards. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I guess I do. I, I guess I do know. Can't wait. Oh God. Oh God. Uh. Okay. Okay. Think. When was the clockwork removed? I mean. <gasps> I think the conversation. <laughs> I get so excited realizing these things. The conversation on the cell phone. I think. Mia told Maya that she's putting the papers Maya needs to collect in the clock. So that's when she removed it. Has to be. It is a cute cell phone. <laughs> ah, amazing, amazing.
Okay, and neither was the updated autopsy report brought to mind, so... Wouldn't be surprised, would you? <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. Amazing. Absolutely it does. She hasn't. It was a gift. Yes. Uh, well, it was made by Larry Butt, so wouldn't that prove that? Again, I don't know what's on the wiretap, so I'm not going to present that again. I'm just going to present the clock. Okay, good, good, good. Yerp. No. What? No. No. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Get him. Is this appropriate for YouTube? <laughs> okay, girl, what happened to your face? to be in somebody's mental institution. You like I'm dead. Ew. Held it. Sounds great. When she murdered Mia, thank you. Whoa, bars. if I agree with that. Thank you. I also think I am art. Yeah, that's fair. Oh, okay. You know what? That's on me. That's on me, Phoenix. That's on me. That's on me. Oh, do you? How do you have a rock solid al alibi?
I mean, you can order room service and leave and go murder somebody and come back. God, okay, okay, okay. How did she know the thinker was a clock? <laughs> Again, what is on the wiretap? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I I don't know. Gosh darn it. Okay. 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 Well, then it has to be the wiretap. Okay. 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 In my defense, I tried to present that earlier and they kind of like pooped all over me for it. So I was a little hesitant. Edgeworth has to get a new objection. Thank you. Like, come on. This is clearly relevant. <laughs> oh, God. Not a new background. <laughs> I mean, the phone. Object to somebody being something being ridiculous. And everybody's hands must be hurting a lot from slamming on these tables so much. Girl, you're going to be held in contempt. Crazy. Hmm. Okay, well, me just straight out accusing her did not go well the first time. So let's get some more info. Yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> that did not answer my question. Yeah, let's call the bellboy. Uh, let, let's get into the bellboy. 
period. Bro, get off the stand. Oh my god, of course you do. Edgeworth, get over yourself. Like, literally. I mean, that's kind of fair. Uh, I don't know if I'll agree to that. Judge, you want to chime in, maybe? God. Okay, guess that's just the what's going on then. Oh, do I have a choice? Uh oh, of course I'm not gonna give up. Okay. Why did he bring his entire tray of tea and cookies? Why did he do that? <laughs> wow. I'm dead. iced coffee at 9 p.m. Okay, so she pre-ordered for something to be brought to her later. Like, come on, that that's enough. That I don't need to hear anything else. Did you? Did you? I mean, I don't really need to press him about that, honestly. That's fine. You believe. Hmm. I guess. I guess. Y'all, this is this is crazy. This is crazy. Oh my god. <laughs> An iced coffee at 9 p.m. Let's question that. Oh that oh I mean that that's also strange, but I, I think my point should still be considered. <laughs> Yes, he would. Oh, crap. Okay. Focus, focus, focus. Okay. Did you? Bracer? Like a hug?
Hmm. No. Oh, wow. No, I'm definitely protesting. Yes, thank you. Charade of justice? Come on, dude. Thank you, thank you. Okay, okay, okay. We got this, guys. Check-in room service or bed making. Probably check it. I don't see what bed making has to do with anything, and I'm not trying to get into that, if y'all know what I mean, okay? Room service, we covered. He delivered it to her. But the check-in, he said he distinctly remembered her from check-in. Let's, let's talk about check-in. Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. <laughs> it's not an objection! To be fair, I didn't ask. What? Your Honor, disqualify the prosecutor. Who was who? the man was the man Edgeworth oh god yeah honestly I, I, I would also like to know <sighs> wait so the question is who was the man who could have committed the murder So this trial lasts multiple days. Okay. Amazing. Okay, I'm going to actually, it does typically have a save point. So let's see if it has that natural save point. Ew. No, he was not. Oh my god. Maya, focus! He's trying to put you in prison! I... 
I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think you can just go home now. You're not innocent. You're just not guilty, which is a step. Period. Period. Yeah, you can say hi to her while you go back, Maya. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. Amazing. Okay. Absolutely. Oh, wow. Okay, interesting. Oh. Wait, I wanted to read that. The victim dodged an attack, then ran to the right, but she was caught and struck. Okay, fair. Let's get it. Wow. I love, 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 love. Okay. Um, another amazing experience with this game. I, I truly am a big fan and it's a lot more enjoyable, honestly, playing it with you guys and talking this through out loud with you. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed too. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Let me know who you think this man was and what his motive was, because I'm very curious as to how this all ties back to that other lawyer that refused to represent Maya and the mom and all of that. So I hope we get into that in the next episode. But until then, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Goodbye and go thrive.